Hey, my name is James Robert Elliott, international best-selling author and international speaker. I help entrepreneurs who are making between $30,000 and $130,000 a year skyrocket their income, double in fact your income this year, make a lot more money doing a lot less work, having a lot less burnout and a lot more time to have fun, to have family, friends, self-care time, travel, whatever you want to do because you're more effective at communicating your message. You're confidently articulating what you do and why someone should buy from you, why they should invest in you, why they should pay you more than other people. So if you want to be more effective, get rid of imposter syndrome and create increased confidence and know that you are effective and how to communicate that effective with others, having people buy into you, having people say yes to you, even though you're charging more, how to effectively articulate what you do, why you're unique, why you're different, why people should buy from you versus someone else and why they should pay you more. That is what I do. Make it 30 to 130K and you would like these things. I can make you far more effective and more impactful having more money in less time and of course having a lot more fun and less burnout i'm james robert elliott looking forward to being of service talk to you soon hi and uh, welcome welcome to today's workshop uh, the four steps to build trust and authority with your audience uh, from uh, james elliott um we firstly want to just apologize to those of our, our users who joined us last week for, for the same uh, workshop. We had a technical issue which was uh, was resolved, but uh, it wasn't, was, was not within our control at that time. So we're all ready and all set to get off today. Uh, you know, pop us a message in the chat to tell us where you're joining us from. We'd be happy to know. Um, and uh, today today is really an, an interesting uh, subject. You know, James is... Uh, He's a, a basically a human behavior expert. Um, he's a, a master trainer. He's an international bestseller author, um, and he's you know got 20 years of experience already in the field. Um, you know, I invite you as well to check out James's website at uh, unleashyourpower.com. Uh, and James is going to really walk us through uh, you know how we can build trust uh, and and be authoritative uh, in 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 the video scenario. So uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce James. And, uh, and in the meantime, I'd like to see, you know, get some comments from you guys to see where you're coming and joining us from. Uh, I'd be happy to see that. Hey, everybody. Good afternoon or good morning, where, depending where you're from. Amazing, amazing. Cool. Hello, hello, Kevin, my friend. Good to be here again, brother. Great, great to have you both, James. You know, this time it's nice to be in front and not behind the scenes. Of this. <laughs> fair enough. Yes, fair enough. You're, you're in front of the scenes this time. I love it. I love it. Very cool. Very cool. We got some cool stuff uh, for you guys today. I'm excited. Um, Kevin and I, we're going we're gonna to talk. We're going to discuss. We're going to do both interview and slides versus death by PowerPoint, right? I don't want to. I want to make it interesting and interactive for you guys. You have questions as well. Uh, I would love you to ask questions as well. I'm sure Kevin may have some good questions for me as well because he knows you guys well and knows his tool, obviously. And just want to give you my best today. Any, again, questions, concerns, comments, feel free to ask. I want to teach you some really cool stuff today. And I don't know, Kevin, I, I would invite people to put in the chat um, anything that stops them, anything that, that gets in their way, any challenges that, that gets in their way, things that limit mm -hmm. them prevent you i i would encourage you to do that and i can tie this into that as well problems with authority with trust um you know i can't i'm not an seo guy i can't necessarily get your videos ranking better however i can help you make them more effective yeah. although that being said when you title them better you do better better titles you are gonna rank absolutely better. absolutely and and james just to understand a little bit better you know we're speaking about uh, building trust and authority what are the kind of things that we're going to learn that are going to help us build trust and authority before we go you know, into the, the details of that? A really good question. A really good. So we're, we're going to look at where if you speak from a place of authenticity, you can often build trust. Authority too, but you, you build trust really well when you speak from a place that's open. Uh, that's candid. So many people are so afraid or so worried. I was there. Uh, I'm guilty of it too, of what people think about us, that it, it really it limits them. It limits them, it limits you from being at your best, being open. And the reason that happens, it, well, if you think about it, 
can you connect with someone if they seem too perfect, like too far ahead, too perfect? Oh my God, they're way far ahead of me. They're too perfect. It's hard to connect with people. So one of the ways is just by being really authentic, like truly authentic, not the wishy-washy, oh yeah, everyone needs to be authentic. Really be truly raw, real, and authentic. Um, that is, from my research, talking with many, many, many other experts, just be real. Just be you. Be quirky if you want. That's why people are going to like you, and that's why you're going to stand out. So that's one thing, uh, building trust. Be, be honestly. Aim to serve, and we'll talk more in a bit too. Aim to serve. Be authentic. And then with authority, uh, honestly, uh, know your stuff and, and be really, really good at it. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be there yet. You don't have to be done learning. You can keep learning, but know your stuff well. And first is being, um, being just uh, knowing just enough to be dangerous, as the saying no. goes. Right? No. Really know your stuff. And and again, as you guys, Kevin, you guys really know your stuff, and that's why you build credibility with your people and authority with your people. Um, you know, you can build authority well with what comes out of your mouth and no. your body language as well. We'll get into all that too. Those, those are the things. Couple of things we're going to be learning as well. Uh, why speaking from a place of authority is is so so necessary. Again, why being vulnerable is so necessary. If you want to win, you don't want to fail. You need right. to be able to being vulnerable right. and uh, embracing failure. Go ahead. Just just you know what what what, what strikes me is that um, you know we're learning. We we're coming here today to learn to build trust and authority uh, in terms of how we present ourselves in a video scenario. But a lot of us, like myself as well, you know, I'm not a natural uh in front of the camera so there's a trepidation there's a fear when we come in front of the camera uh, sure. you, you know the, those are the kind of things as well that, that the nlp and, and and this whole um you know maybe you want to also explain a little bit about the nlp and what that is and how that fits into this but are these these are the kind of things that are going to help us build our own confidence to gain that trust and authority from from our, our audience Perfect. Uh, good idea. Good idea. So, uh, again, the talk is titled Four Steps to Build Trust and Authority with Your Audience Using NLP, right? So, that's what we're going to be doing. And NLP, it came from uh, years ago, came from modeling the, the most successful people in the world over, over eons and, of course, people of today as well. Uh, captains of industry, speakers, CEOs, mentors, coaches, therapists as well, philosophers. Researchers, the, the research done around NLP came from, again, researching, studying, modeling the most successful people in the world and, and boiling it down to a set of, <clears throat> excuse me, a set of tools, uh, a mindset as well, a uh, way of being, a way of speaking, a way of communicating. And just you model someone successful, <clears throat> you're going to be successful too. I'm going to have a drink of water. You model someone yeah. successful. Yeah. In fact, while you drink the water, I'm just going to acknowledge our audience because uh, we, we really have to have them with us today. So, you know, we just say uh, hi to, to Jolene, uh, who's from South Florida. Uh, then we've got uh, um, Lee uh, as well. I'm not sure where Lee's from, HI. I'm not sure. I don't know the abbreviation. Excuse me, Lee. We've got Patricia from North, North, Car North Cal Northern California. Uh, and we got from from one of our users from Dallas, uh, from from Naples, uh, Florida. Um, Shannon, welcome. Uh, Uzi, welcome to you as well. Uh, then we got you with us, and uh, uh, many from our, our Ohio. Uh, so we got uh, from Maui. We got Ernest from Maui, uh, from Rainville. So it's really great to have you all with us today. And you know, I really encourage you. Uh, you know. Test out, you know, James, James is here for that. Put your questions into the chat. We'll pick right. your questions up as, as often as possible, and we'll, we'll put them to, to James when, they, when there's an opportunity to do that. Um, you're also going to get an opportunity to reach out to James afterwards, you know, individually. So don't worry about that. This is also being recorded, so it's going to be on our YouTube channel. You can go through it again. So, you know, you can pick up all the, 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 the gems that, that James is going to give us today. So great. So without further ado, James, uh, you know, over to you. Right on. Beautiful, beautiful. Amazing, amazing. So let me start with what not to do. How do we start with that? Start with a couple of things, what not to do, because that's often as useful as what to do, right? So that's that's a key, key thing too. And what not to do is to be like everyone else. Now, consciously and conceptually, we know this. However, the, the lizard brain in our brain, back actually back here in our brainstem, uh, is very, very, very well developed over millions of years. 
or however humans have been you know roaming the earth. Uh, now our 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 prefrontal cortex here, which is why we're different from animals, it, it reasons, it has reasoning. And logic and thinking. That's why, if you look about it, animals, most animals have a snout. They don't have this part here. They, again, look at apes and monkeys, right? They don't have our prefrontal cortex, so they have a bit of a snout there that goes out. Most animals do. We have this area right here filled with some really kick ass matter that makes us humans. So, our prefrontal cortex is new, uh, and our, our lizard brain down here, back here in your brain stem, in the back of your brain, lower brain, uh, is very, very well developed. So the, the fear often, as you all know, overrides your, your logic. Okay, I'm not going to die by doing a presentation. I'm not going to die by doing a video. However, we, we all have this, this people-pleasing uh, really inbuilt into us because we don't want to be rejected. We don't want to be abandoned or cast out of our community. Think about this. Back in cave woman, caveman days, what happened to you? If you were, or even as, as an ape or monkey, what happened if you were cast out of your community, right? You'd likely die. You would likely die, right? Um, you know, safety numbers. Now, the, the neat thing here, the neat interesting thing here is that, of course, we're not going to die if we, you know, get cast out of a group or get fired from mm -hmm. a job or mm -hmm. stop hanging out with people. However, our need to look good and people please and be likable all this stuff is still very very ingrained in us so again we need to go against the grain and that's why conceptually people know to be different and that they should be different to stand mm -hmm. out however it again we don't want to it's going against the grain we don't know how to stand it we don't know how to be different yeah. and and so that's a big part of today is i'm going to be telling you uh, this as well i'm going to be communicating this to you and, and teaching you some kick ass Thing. So that's a really cool point as well, because to your point, Kevin, as well, a lot of the introverts or people who aren't people person, people, people, people who aren't people, people necessarily <laughs> um, do find it a little harder. But again, a lot of us, even me, when I first started videos, a lot of, you know, fear of failure. What would people think when I wrote my first book? I was like, what would people think? You know, becoming a best selling author. I'm like, this is amazing. But oh, my God, what would people think? What if they don't like it? What if they hate it? What if they make fun of me? What if I fail? What if, mm -hmm. right? What if? And, 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 and James, this this fear that we have, which which I assume comes from the lizard cortex, is this a personal uh, fear which everybody has in terms of their, their, their own individual experience, or is this like a general kind of fear? I, I would say both, really. Um, it, it is personalized. We we are programmed from birth by you know religion, culture, society, all of these things. Um, you know, parents teachers authority figures the media news and for heaven's sakes you know avoid listening to the news or watching the news when you wake up in the morning because your brain is highly programmable highly susceptible right. we'll talk about that later if there's a time or this is there's another lesson Excellent. Okay. you are sounds, highly, highly susceptible sounds yeah. like we're yeah. gonna have a really interesting uh, evening it's gonna be cool very cool and so we need to be very very careful what we put into our brain first thing in the morning and last thing in the evening and maybe I'll mm -hmm. teach you some stuff on that later as well. Put only great stuff in. Nothing that you're going to have to decide. Is this good? Is this bad? Do I believe in this? Do I not believe in this? Make your own personal declaration or uh, listen to some good meditative tapes or, or, or tapes anymore. Dating myself. Meditative you know, YouTube videos or MP3s or whatever it is, right? So, again, empowering yourself. And and so your, your point, yes, it's part programming, uh, part nature, part nurture, the, these fears we have. Um, again, because it stops us from being different, stops us from speaking out. It stops us from, from being raw and real with people. And everyone I've talked to, and you guys in the audience too, think about this for a sec. You would probably uh, far, far appreciate and like someone more who is raw, who is real, maybe doesn't have perfect, perfect video. Now, of course, you want the best video quality as possible, and you want the best audio quality as possible. And then, uh, Kevin, you're an expert in this, and you probably... I, I've heard that your your video can be okay as long as your audio is quite good and people will keep, keep watching the video. That being said, I've done videos from the Caribbean. I've done videos from South America, from Southeast Asia, and they're not always perfect. Even my TikTok mm -hmm. videos, I need a bit of a newer camera. Uh, my This phone's getting a little old and the video is not perfect. However, it's the value of the content being raw and real and authentic. Hey, you know, hey, this is James in the raw or hey, you know, this is. This is uh, Susie in the raw. This is Kevin in the raw. This is Jerry in the raw. Right. This is so, Jennifer so, in the raw. You know, it's in, our in our context, where we're speaking about trust and authority, 
uh, you know, which of the senses are the primary ones that, that we're going to be looking at? Is it, is it the, 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 the vocal, the, the, the audio? Is it the visual? Uh, is it the, you know, other auditory senses that, that we're picking up, uh, you know, when we're moving along? That's a really good question. And the answer is it's all of them. And the, re the reason why it's all of them, whether it's visual, auditory, whether it's kinesthetic, feeling based or tactile if you're in person. Uh, and there's another one called auditory digital. And you know, in fact, let's um, let's uh, pull up the slides if you don't mind, please. And I will I'll go through this and give you a bit of a visual because, again, we're all all of these as well. Um, if you could flip to the slide, if you don't mind, please, that says uh, communication styles. And it should be a few slides in. There's me, if you want to know about me as well. We can talk about me later. How's that sound? So visual people, thank you. So there's, again, there's four major communication styles, guys. And get this. Listen, listen. You are missing up to 80% of the people that you communicate with due to a mismatch in communication styles. It's like speaking Russian to someone that speaks only English or speaking Spanish to someone that speaks only French or speaking Cantonese to someone who speaks only, I don't know, Malaysian or French, right? There's four dominant communication and learning styles, uh, you know, in, in the world, in humans. And when you teach, speak, communicate, you really, really want to make sure you're hitting all of these. Mm -hmm. Now, we're all all of these. We have all of these, these four, again, visual auditory, kinesthetic, and this again, auditory digital, which is the fact finding people, people that love data, love information, love research that I have less than zero interest in. I'm more of a be big, be bright, be bold, and then be gone kind of guy. Give me the gist of it, the facts, a little bit of support, a little proof. Okay, that sounds good. I'm in or I'm out. And, and the problem is if we're not hitting all these in, in your videos, in your sales, in your pitches, on your copy, on your website, guys, on your marketing, anything, on your trainings and communication, you're missing a lot of people, up to 80% of people you okay. are missing. So, so that's my question, James. You know, you say that we, in some way we have to, to kind of find a way that we can connect with our audience, right? And, and our audience is different because, like you say, our audience can be culturally different, can be, uh, you know, um, personality different. How how do we do that when we 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 say we preparing a video we we don't necessarily know who our audience is going to be how can we overcome that barrier? Good question. Good question. So what we use is is something called CAV K A V and CAV is interesting uh, or CAVAD uh, and it, it it's kinesthetic auditory visual again auditory digital so essentially what it's doing is in your communication in your videos in your imagery uh you you want to make sure you're hitting all these points for example when right now we're having visuals instead of me just talking about ideas there's visuals there's a picture which says a thousand words it appeals to the visuals including myself a nice bright picture um so again when you do anything videos videos for TikTok, for your website anything you do a big view um and you might see other other youtubers do this too Put at least a picture in, some stock photos or photos of you. Put a little mini video clip in uh, to um, to illustrate what you're talking about. Uh, it, it makes a huge, huge difference mm -hmm. in in supporting the visuals as you're speaking. Because as you're speaking, of course, you're gonna you're gonna hit and touch with the the auditory people. That's fairly easy if you're speaking. It's fairly easy to touch the auditory people as well. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing you want to do is you want to use different words for different people. For example, a visual person will respond to visual words. I'm a visual person. You know, see what I mean? Does that look good for you? <laughs> wow. And you want to rotate through these. So an auditory person, you'd say, does that sound good? Or do you hear what I'm saying? And, and depending which one these are, people will really perk up and nod. So when in doubt what you do, uh, and, and unless, unless you've been to my NLP training and my, my training I do, um, to know who is who, then you can rotate through these, especially on video when there's going to be a mix of people. Uh, rotate through these. Um, again, the visuals, visual people. Uh, next slide, please, Kevin. Cool, auditory people. Again, communication, sounds uh, as well. If you're talking to them, you're, you're going to, to help. Uh, it's going to help, right? That being said, you're also going to want to, like I just did, you're also going to want to vary pitch to keep them perked up, keep them interested as well. Uh, listen, listen, listen. 
just like I did, having them really listen, having cues versus just a boring, monotonous voice talking about the same all, you're going to lose them, right? So auditory, when you're, if you're speaking, that's half the battle. If you're talking, that's half the battle for an auditory. That being said, you're also going to ideally, ideally, this is elegant, so don't worry about getting this perfect. Please avoid worrying about getting this perfect. You want to use words like, you know, how does that sound? Can you, you know, does that sound good? Or are you hearing what I'm saying? Those kind of words as well, you want to use and, and, and rotate through those as well. Again, you don't have to be super perfect with this or super elegant with this as long as you, you weave in these elements and you're speaking to the four dominant communication styles. The cool thing about this, guys, listen, listen, is that it doesn't matter what country, what culture people are, all humans have these four dominant communication mm -hmm. and learning styles. Uh, and this is different than Myers Briggs. This is different from all the from the you know Colby, uh, all the community, all the excuse me, all the personality styles. These are different. These are four dominant communication styles all humans have. Right. Uh, again, so, so, so next uh, next slide, please, Kevin. So, so my, my, my question here, James, is yeah. is um, uh, would I be correct in saying if you're doing like a podcast, so then you only on the auditory uh, uh, level, so you really want to be looking at the language that's auditory or even in spite of being on a podcast would you want to add visual language uh, in, into your, your your podcast you got it exactly exactly because you're right an auditory podcast uh you're going to only likely be hitting a dominant uh, of auditory digital and maybe audit and auditory excuse me and auditory digital the fact finders um you may miss some visuals so so using words like imagine or, you know, just visualize, guys, your business success, you're speaking in front of a big audience or you're, you're teaching all these people or you're doing whatever you want to do. Like, imagine you want to use a lot of visual words. You know, picture yourself, everyone. Picture yourself doing this and doing that or picture yourself not doing that anymore. Picture yourself not worried about this, not stressing. Picture yourself working from the, an island, a beach island. Try, picture yourself after you're done working with me, you know, Susie or, or Sia or Miles or, or Mike, uh, Jerry, anyone – after picture yourself this is what you get after working with me or again i'm just giving examples yes you want to exactly kevin use a lot of visual imagery and language um now moving to kinesthetic people you're also in a podcast going to want to do that and what's it going to feel like or how does that feel when you think of a b c d what's it going to feel like when you're able to do d e f g or or to stop doing you know x y z you you can use language. You can still hit this if you're if you're on a, a podcast, for example. And again, I encourage you to do it even if you have visual. All right. So so feeling words. In fact, feelings are one of the most important. Um, a because forty percent of people are kinesthetic, the other forty are visual, uh, and the other forty, uh, the other excuse me, twenty are uh, auditory and auditory digital. That being said, those statistics aside, again, so if you're auditory or auditory digital. You exactly, Miles, exactly. A blend of content delivery, a blend of media. And when it comes to my course, there's all kinds of different media, all kinds of things we do. So again, if you're on a podcast, yes, you want to use a lot of feeling language. And remember, you guys have probably heard this saying before, people, and if you haven't listened, listen, people buy emotionally. They make decisions emotionally, no matter what it is, a stick of gum or a house, they buy emotionally and then they justify logically. I really needed that new purse. So I needed those new, those new, you know, four hundred dollars shoes. Or I needed that new expensive sports car so I could get to work better. And I'm saving money on gas. Yeah, but the sports car cost you, however, a hundred grand, right? So we always, or, or the the shoes, or the whatever, we always justify logically. However, our decisions are made emotionally. So, what you want to do, anything, whether it's a video or or a podcast, audio only, you want to really, really make sure you pump up the feeling. So K. A V kinesthetic K cavad kinesthetic auditory visual and then auditory digital facts give some facts and support and I'll, I'll do that in a moment too right. uh, like I I've got a question for you James yeah, yeah. you know we've got all you're giving us this this kind of approach that you can use different sensory um, uh, elements and different you know techniques to to reach different people that that have different uh, ways of connecting with us but like Surely we, we, we may, you know, we may not have as much experience. We don't have 20 years like yourself yeah. uh, as a human behavior expert. What, what are the kind of mistakes that people make uh, that they should, you know, try to you know, be aware of when, when they, they connecting with the audience uh, with using these kind of tools? 
That, and that's a really good question. Um, one of the biggest mistakes is is defaulting because under times of stress, we will default to our dominant. We all have all these in us. However, we have a dominant one. So during times of stress or duress, e.g. when you're on camera, you're presenting, you're teaching, coaching, training, working, whatever you're doing, we'll often default to our, our most dominant one. And that means we're missing everyone else. So again, uh, one, of the, one of the people in the chat had said, so it sounds like, you know, rotate through these and, and exactly just all you need to do. Remember CAV, K-A-V or CAVAD, K-A-V-A-D. Rotate through these in some manner, some fashion. Make sure am I do I have feelings? Am I supporting feelings somehow? And the tactile people, maybe it's through an experience. Maybe it's a video. Videos will, will bring up feelings as well. Uh, videos bring up emotions. Videos are experiential. So kinesthetic people like feelings and experience. So videos can yeah. do that. That's why video is, is king. Um, and you're right, Kevin, make sure there's some sort of visuals, pictures, videos for the visual people. Uh, and again, if it's on a podcast, audio only, again, what you can do is just make sure you're using a lot of language. And uh, remember, KAV, put it in front of you on a sticker because when you're stressed or in duress or, or nervous yeah. or scared, you'll dominantly go to your most dominant one. How do we measure KAV, James? How do I say I've made my video before I, you know, I send it out? I want to make sure that I... I'm um, hitting um, all, all, all the levels. Mm, yeah, good question. Good question. Uh, so, so one of the things is just, just to have that almost KAV is a check mark. Have I, do I, am I appealing to, to feelings, to emotions? Again, that's how people buy, and that's 40% of people kinesthetic. Am I appealing to emotions? Check, you know, KAV and check mark. Yep. I, I have uh, some feelings. I have some videos. I mean, talking about imagine and have people visualize and have people think about the future and, and what would that make you feel? Um, I, you know, I have videos, like I said, okay. The a auditory while well, I'm talking, well, I'm, I'm pretty much covering that other than maybe using again, great, great descriptive language. Mm -hmm. Uh, how's that sound? Things like that. Audio is easier to cover. Unfortunately, auditory is only 20% of the population. So <laughs> it's the easiest to cover. However, it's Excellent. the least, Excellent. least amount of people you're hitting with that. Uh, and then the visual KAV visual, making sure you have some sort of visuals, pictures, movies, uh, a symbol, uh, even a symbol or an icon or graphic. And again, using awesome body language like this too. Use and practice body language, right? Body yeah. language is key. Avoid too much body language. However, body language is key, especially when you want to make something a point for emphasis. Right. So let's, let's, let's put it in context. We here with an audio visual, uh, you know, workshop that we're doing, we have an audience, which, which we have contact with through the chat. You know, people people have like kind of access, but limited access to us. So now, Kara, you're saying, you know, check your language, make sure that people are understanding what we're saying, and you know, confirming via the chat. Make sure that we have like visual elements that are helping people on, you know, getting our message across, and then make sure that people identify, you know, emotionally with with, with the content that we we delivering to them. Yep. Yep. Agreed. Agree. It's 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 the check mark. KAV when you're presenting. KAV. Do I have some visual elements? Come kid aesthetic and some auditory elements, and then some support. The ADs will want some support. Give a little support. A tiny bit of support information, proof, support, quotes from an expert, whatever. Now I'll, I'll talk about that later. Too. I'll give you a system actually to make this a lot easier. So we'll we'll talk about this later as well. Um, right. So, and uh, and, and again, yes. Miles says there's podcast with an excellent storytelling, uh, you know, that achieves. And it's again, a storytelling because you're using usually all the senses you're using emotion. Storytelling is great. Tell your story because and that's, that's another tip as well for you guys. Speaking of authority and trust, share your hero's journey, share your story as well, because, Hey, look, I did it. I'm not just talking on it. I was there. I did this. Now I'm here. Again, tell your story because, as Miles said, storytelling is a great way to have imagery and have people literally yeah. falling along in their heads visually, maybe, auditory, and feelings. Maybe it's a good time to, to, to tell a little bit about yourself because I know that's part of your personal journey as well. And I think, you know, that would be interesting to hear from your side. I don't. You, know, you obviously took that personal journey and you made it into something, you know, as, as a career and a profession from there. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I flip back if you don't mind to my, uh, my slide uh, about three or four ago, please. And I'll show you how this works guys. So there's basically three or four steps. 
to to the three or four steps basically to having a a really hero's journey slash customer connection story and it doesn't always have to be about yourself telling stories about your successful clients will again have people in their mind visualize success and again this is a way to build trust and authority at the same time wow it sounds like they can help people and wow it sounds like they know what they're doing so uh, i've been doing this for for a long time and as it says at the very bottom i i used to struggle i used to struggle with communication struggle with confidence i used to struggle with speaking up and speaking out I was very shy and quiet. I used to struggle with boundaries and I used to have people walk all over me, which made me anxious. I had terrible anxiety, depression. I wasn't speaking out. I, I wasn't taking action because I was so resistant and, and procrastinating to take action because of the fear of failure, you know, because of all, all this, this stuff that had happened in, in my life in the past. And as I always say, make your scars, your strengths and make your wounds, your wisdom guys, that is what people will resonate with. So that's exactly what I did. All this crap I went through in life, it didn't happen to me. It happened for me. And well, by dealing with all these things, you know, again, bullying, uh, depression, anxiety, all this stuff, weight issues, health issues, energy level issues, all this yeah. stuff, trouble speaking out. What I did is, is I, I, I found these amazing tools. That's why I teach them. One of the most important ones being NLP. And that's why I teach NLP yeah. or neuro linguistic programming. It helps you transform uh, business. It helps you transform. I mean, mind, body, spirit, everything helps you unleash your potential, which is why my courses are coincidentally yeah. called unleash your potential. And so I use these tools to get all rid of all that baggage, that stuff, that trauma, that programming. We all have that programming from life. If you've lived for longer than six months on the earth, you have programming. Again, culture, parents, grandparents, media, news, all this stuff, guys, friends, yeah. all this stuff we need to get rid of. So I use the tools to get rid of all that stuff. And I'm still using the tools to keep working on the, uh, the onion layers. Wonderful, if you wonderful. And I thought that was so profound. You know, it didn't happen to me. It happened for me. I mean, it's just, just there's just so much inside of that statement, uh, and I think let's 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 see if we can you know hear from from the audience in the chat if they have something that they want to share with us on that their own their own you know challenges, the kind of things that maybe they can you know ask you some questions concerning that maybe they, we can get some feedback from that. I'm very happy to, very very happy to. I mean, it's 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 you know being humble and 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 humble, authentic, vulnerable. To your point, Kevin. And I, I'd love to comment on some of you guys' questions. It, it, it's it's amazing, 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 amazing. And it, I, I've used this to literally transform my life and the lives of many, many other entrepreneurs and business owners that I've, I've taught it to. And now I'm here. So this is the end of my hero's story. You know, I, and now I'm here. I, I, I just I just got back from living and working in Colombia for a month. I, I was in shorts and a T-shirt all day long. Uh, it was amazing. I can work from the cottage seven months a year. This is my life. I love it. I help people. I make great money. I have a lot of fun. I take a lot of vacation. You know, I make, again, not to do my own horn, but this is what I want for you guys. I make more money than a lot of people do. And I usually take two or three months off a year. So I work, you know, nine, maybe 10 months a year and I make more money having fun, doing what I love. And I want that Fantastic. for you guys too. Fantastic. And, and that's, that's, that's attainable if you, if you stick to the principles and you, you know, kind of find your, your what I'll call your sweet spots. So I'll let you elaborate on that. But uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So and we had some like, some feedback. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, John, you know, Miles really, you know, he, he said it's being about vulnerable and humble. Uh, it, yeah, it, it then, is. Yeah, it truly is. Uh, no one, no one. People don't. There's so much fakeness these days. These 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 days, guys. So much fakeness these days. And and my my to your point kevin my invitation is is to be as open and vulnerable and yes it can be it can be very uncomfortable and that's the path though to your success that's the door you got to walk through to your success be very very raw real open authentic with people you don't have to open the kimono and show them everything metaphorically however be raw be real because that's who people will connect with that's how you'll get the right customers by connecting with people being open working on yourself you'll keep attracting better and better and more and more people and I'm living proof of that, yeah. right? I'm literally living proof of keep working on yourself. And again, NLP is one of the best ways to do that. The courses I teach is the best way I know. I, I learned it, now I teach it. And and to your point, Kevin, it's it's 
it's about being raw and real and honest and open. That will get you trust. That will get you authority as well, but that will get you trust every time. People connect. No one connects with people that's fake and raw and all this nonsense and some someone sitting on a, a Ferrari or sitting on a Lamborghini and all that bullshit, pardon my language. P people know it's fake. It's probably not even your car. Do you even know how to drive manual? You know, like wh whatever it is uh, that, that people... Uh, they all this fakeness, right? Just be real and raw and people, I promise you, raw and real and people will connect with you. And I'll give yeah. you, here's another secret too. Here's another secret to connect with people too. Because again, I agree, video is king. Video is so powerful because it can hit the visuals, auditories, kinesthetics, auditory digitals. Send love and connect to the camera. Visualize your perfect person. Mm -hmm. Or again, if you're talking to someone one-on-one -on -one, uh, and you're only on the phone with them, Pull up a picture of them or just visualize them and their big success. Send love to the camera. Connect to the people behind the camera. I'm not just looking at my little camera lens right here. I'm actually looking at all you guys, visualizing, looking at you guys in my mind. So connect to the people. Yeah. Talk to people, right? And, and visualize your, your perfect person there. That whoever said, if you're nervous, look at the back wall of, of an auditorium or look at the back wall if you're nervous and talk to the back wall. That's horrible advice. Because you connect with nobody. You may be a little less nervous. Mm -hmm. You connect with nobody. Yeah. Right? So and picture your uh, yeah, uh, picture your, your, we, your we've got you've got so much, so much, you know, feedback which is so um, for it. me relevant, you know, it's the same you, you know, learn, learning from your mistakes. And I see Miles identified <laughs> your Star Wars <laughs> microphone. <laughs> That's too funny. So, and then the deeper states also, you know, he also had some kind of a life changing experience with, with NLP. So obviously this is real serious stuff and we can really benefit from it, not only in our personal lives, but in our business lives. And so, so, so the, the, I get the trust, but like the authority, how, do, how does that link to the authority side of things? For sure. Well, that's a really good one too. And, and just, just to tie off there, which also links to authority. Here's something, guys, and use this and abuse this. Trust me, this works. If you want to build authority and especially trust because it's impossible to build authority without trust. If they don't trust you, they're not listening to you. Use this. Uh, when you're meeting someone, when you're walking up with someone, when you're speaking, before you're about to speak, while you're having conversation, whatever, use this and say this to the person in your head. You're safe. I've got your back. And mean it. You need to mean it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a magic phrase that will get you instant trust and rapport with people. Instant trust. It is amazing. Again, use it on a, on a networking uh, event. Use it on a date. Mm -hmm. Use it on a business mm -hmm. event. You're just in your head. You're safe. I've got your back. Yeah. It does two and, things. First of all, and we, we have somebody who has our back here. We, we should mention him. That's Bruno. That's Bruno. Ah, Bruno yeah. has our back. Bruno's our, our, our back-end guy. And a lot of you probably know Bruno. He's our, our, our trainer at, at Big Boost, really our principal trainer. Uh, and he, 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 he really is the, the heart behind the behind our, our workshop. So I just want to also acknowledge him there as well at the same time. Right on, right on. Very cool. Yes, exactly. He's uh, He's got it. He's got it for sure, for sure. So, uh, so yes, um, someone says, what's NPO in the chat? Are you asking about NLP? Is that it? Or are you asking something? No, no there was actually a comment with NPO. I must be honest, I also didn't know. Got it. it was Esther was saying, uh, learning from mistakes, building a grassroots NPO. A nonprofit right. organization, maybe? Got it. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Got it. Got it. Got it. I didn't know if they were, they were referring. I know someone did ask. Uh, they said just joining in. What is NLP? And neuro linguistic programming NLP is again. A, it's a tool to basically take everything you do, make it better. It's, it's to unleash your potential, unleash your power. Uh, it comes from modeling the most successful people in the world. It's studying and modeling the most successful people in the world. So if you want to be one of those people. Well, you follow the principles of NLP and, and do what they do while being yourself. And guess what? You're going to be wildly successful too. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyways, uh, back to authority. So again, you're safe. I've got your back. That'll be able to trust so that you have the time and room to build the authority. You're safe. Ginny, it's you're safe. I've got your back. You're safe. I've got your back. And, and heck, sometimes I even say it when I'm mentoring someone or talking to someone or in a group. I, I do it. I say, guys, and all you guys, you're safe, guys. I've got your back. I want the best for you. My my intention is to serve you and give you my best today. Absolutely. And so you're safe. I've got your back. Now, you don't have to say that out loud if you don't want to. You know, you don't have to. Uh, and we'll talk after. If you guys, I'll tell you more about how to, how to work with me, my programs, my trainings. They're life-changing. Um, otherwise, I don't charge you. So we'll talk about that later. 
again, you're safe. I've got your back. So once you do that, once you do that as well, well, we need to, we need to build authority. So, well, how do we build authority? How do we build authority and how do we build credibility? Well, and influence, influence, persuasion, credibility, authority, uh, you know, I'll use them, I'll use them interchangeably as well. So one of the things to build credibility and authority is, is to tell your story, tell your hero's journey. Because if you've been there, you know, I was here, depression, anxiety, all this stuff, couldn't communicate. And then I did this. I learned NLP and all these principles and tools. Now I'm able to help people communicate well, teach people, people from a guy who could barely communicate. And someone said, you know, you're not a very present person. You don't listen very well. Years ago to now I get commented on, I, I can't believe how much I can tell you, James. I can't believe how present you are, how much you just listen. I feel I can tell you anything. I can feel I can, I can talk to you about anything, right? So that's, it's going from that to here. Again, tell your hero's journey. Your hero's journey is, is key. One of the biggest ways to build credibility and authority. Um, the other, the other one is as well is to to really be careful with body language, and really, really be congruent with what you're saying and selling because your words may lie, your body will not deny. There's another one for you. Your words may lie, your body will not deny. So. What this means is if, you, if you're nervous, if you're gesturing nervously versus, again, not to toot my own horn, but again, very powerfully, listen, listen, guys, this is important. I want you to get this point. You know, instead of gesturing nervously or too, too much or speaking too quickly, for example, um, that is going to be a key thing. So, so pace your speech because when we're nervous, we usually speak too quickly. I naturally speak quickly, but when people are nervous, we speak too quickly, gesture too much, have powerful concise precise body language and that will also mm -hmm. convey authority this is a great way to convey authority as well you know steepled hands uh hunched over is not a good way to convince uh and people and convey authority and confidence you know touching your face too much touching your nose gulping all the time like that nervous gulp uh again let's, let's relax be present one of the best ways to do that to build authority is by inhaling for four seconds holding it for seven seconds and then exhaling for eight seconds yeah. called four, seven, eight breathing. And that will, I mean, look, my voice just dropped down even more. Yeah. And, that, and I think, I think we, we, you know, we, 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 unfortunately we have this, this, uh, uh, this tendency to get caught up in a rush and, yeah. and, and we never, you know, stop and, and breathe. Like you say, maybe, you know, just, the just to, to be conscious of that, that, that can already change a lot, you know, definitely so. It's, it, it's so true. It's, it's so true. And, and, and so, so not getting caught up in things again, if you need to breathe, no one's going to tell if you're, and then holding for seven and exhaling, no one's gonna be able to tell yeah, unless you're speaking, right? It just, just do this. And there's lots of the techniques I'll teach as well, how to be present grounded. Again, how the big thing though, is tell your story and tell a client story, you know, that reminds me of a story. And what you can do, guys, you can pace a client's problem, or if you're, you're doing a video, pace your, your avatar, your target population's problem, pace their problem uh, by telling a story. You know, that reminds me of a story. You know, I was talking to uh, my customer, Jim, the other day, and, 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 and Jim and Betty, and they had this problem, and this wasn't working well, and that wasn't going well. So I helped them do this and that. And now, oh my goodness, you know, it, it's like Jim is able to do this, and, and Betty's able to do that. And my goodness, you should you know, watch them shine because they're, mm -hmm. they're they're having this and this and this outcome. Wow, it's amazing. And so, you know, so, so uh, am, I, am I correct in understanding? Just saying, instead of uh, you know uh, uh, conf confronting the person with whatever the issue may be itself, you deflecting it to somewhere else and you're showing them that there is a solution for it. You got it. Absolutely. Yeah. Pace there, and you don't have to do it exactly. You can paste there what they're saying. Um, if it's a male, you can tell a story about a female. Again, vice versa, a female male or, or a kid or heck, a character. You know, that remind, it's funny you say that. It reminds me of a story I was reading to my nephew and my niece about a little turtle that had this problem and then the turtle did this and that. Whatever. You, you can paste their experience, right? And and I, I was my niece. She was having this problem and with, with people or bullies or whatever. And you're pacing someone's problem. Let's say, mm -hmm. I don't know, their problem is bullying at work. And she did this and that, and I helped her do this and that. And now she's able to do this. She stands up. So you're able to pace, uh, pace, you know, of course, your own journey with people and, and pace a client's journey. You know, it's interesting. That reminds me of a story. 
tell them a really quick, interesting story, uh, paste their problems. It doesn't have to be exactly like them. You can change things up a bit. If it's about business, pleasure, tell them if it's a pleasure or a personal, tell them about business. Either way, without without getting too uh, too technical, too wild with it, tell a story that about someone you know or you've worked with that paces their problems, their experience, and their desires. So that's another great way because, wow, oh, my goodness, they worked with someone like me. They know what it's like to be me. Oh, my goodness. And again, storytelling, there's a saying, uh, facts tell, stories sell. Right? Facts tell, stories sell. So that's a big one too. Okay. Uh, next one to build authority is, is give value first. Give value to get value. Right, give value first to get credibility, uh, authority, trust, rapport. Give some sort of value. For example, I love doing this. I'm giving value. We're now big view myself. We're giving value now to you guys, in an effort to serve and support. We want to help, and that is a really, really great way, also to get authority. You can show them, give them samples of yourself, and give them examples, give them your best stuff, and listen, listen. Give them your best stuff. Because you're not giving them the, the the how, you're giving them what they need to do. Guys, do you need to do step A, step B, step C, step D? You need to do this and do that. You're not giving them the how. You are the how, guys. Working with you, Ernest, working with you, uh, you know, Miles, everyone, working with you, Lamont, Ginny, uh, everyone, Sandra, everyone, um, Esther, working with you is the, the how. You can give them the what in all your videos and give them what they need to do and give them the why. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, this is going to happen, or otherwise, that's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And I'll give you an example of that right now. So, guys, you need to give people the what and the why. They need to know. Otherwise, why would they care, right? And and there's no differentiation between you and anyone else. So, by giving value, it does two things. A, it, it, it gets them to know you. It lets them get to know you. You hear you talk. And, again, doesn't that be perfect? Like, Wow. I appreciate what, what he's saying. I appreciate what she's saying. I, I get that. Or that makes sense. Or, wow, yeah, I'd like to learn more from this person. So it gives you the authority. The other thing it does when you give value first, that's why, again, videos are amazing. Give values, teachings, webinars, anything. YouTube videos, start with videos on your website, anything you do. Um, the other thing it does when you give value first, it subconsciously makes people uh, like and trust you and want to reciprocate mm-hmm. and choose you. So there's almost an unconscious desire to to chew. Well, I want to work with Patrick or Paul. Mm-hmm. I want to work with you know Wayne and 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 Miles. I want to work with Lamont. That's all the gentlemen that are, are reply, replying to the yeah. <laughs> I want to work with, with with Esther, right? And people will want and be compelled to work with you because you've done this for them because you've helped them out. Yeah. Right? So, so, it's, uh, so let's try and understand this a little bit better. You're saying that the real value is not really in in the information. Real value is really in, 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 in how you, you know, execute the, the information, how you, you know, you, you put it into practice. And therefore, if you give them the value that, that the information itself has um, and they see that, you know, you have this, this kind of um, layer of information that you can transmit to them, then they'll have confidence in you to actually transmit the information, even though the information is already accessible to them. Yep, correct, correct, exactly. The, I mean, give quality information. Give them your best. Like I said, you don't have to worry about giving your best stuff. Give them your best because they'll be like, wow, what else do they have? Again, give them the what? Your best stuff, guys. Trust me, not this little, you see, I'm sure you've all downloaded a lead magnet or a free thing that's a piece of junk. Like, what is this? Why did I spend my time giving my email? There's nothing more disheartening and distrusting that'll kill authority than having a crappy lead magnet. Give them your best stuff, the what and the why, why they should care, why it's important, what happens if they don't do this, what happens if they do do this, they give them the what, this is what you need to do, because you are the how, you're the how, they're going to come to you anyways with the how, so yes, you're right, Kevin, Uh, it's a little less important, it's good for authority to give them great stuff, give your best stuff, however, for influence and persuasion, and automatic influence and persuasion, yes, what you can do is, is by giving, there's an automatic reciprocation, well, wow, Kevin did that for me, or, or you know, Ernest did this for me, Paul did that for me, Esther did this for me, right? Uh, you know, Dr. Mitra did that for me. I, I, and it's a compulsion to, if, if you, again, it's not manipulation in any way, because if they like you, they trust you, they respect you, and you're, you're, they want what you have, they will often be very compelled to work with you because of that, that gift you gave them, that doing, doing something nice first, givers gain. 
So, so um, I think, like we, you know, we 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 coming towards the the, the latter part of, of the workshop. Um, is is there anything anything that like you'd really that's really essential that you'd like to add before we kind of summarize and give give the you know give our audience a chance to to ask questions directly? Absolutely, absolutely. So get get people thinking, get people thinking and pondering instead of an all all of a one way conversation. Ask questions, whether it's live, whether it's a video, whether it's a sales or a training or a course or a webinar or whatever it is, or a, a free league magnet that's a 5, 10, 15, 20 minute video. Ask questions, give them exercises, get them thinking, guys, instead of just, you know, people. I mean, we have the internet, we have now we have AI. People don't necessarily need more information. Mm -hmm. What they need is transformation. So, what, what your expert is, why people will pay you guys is okay, there's information here. Here's the information. This is what to do with it. This is how to make it real in your world. So tell them what to do with it. Again, people don't need more information. That's It's accessible at the snap of a finger. They need the transformation, how it's applicable to them. So, so find ways to make it interactive. Ask questions. Get them thinking. Give them exercises. Give them a, here's an intelligent action. So for example, uh, before we go today, guys, I'm going to leave you with an intelligent action I would love for you to do. And what I would love for you to do is to think about, okay, which, which, which communication style am I weakest in? And in my, in my, in my, is it visual? Am I a natural visual person? Uh, am I a natural auditory? I like talking. Um, am I a natural kinesthetic, like feelings, like hugging, like experiences, stories? Am I very natural at being a, a fact finder, AKA that auditory did, do I like mountains and mountains of data? And that will help you realize, okay, well, where do I need to work? Which people am I going to have the hardest time connecting with? Right. And so, so that's my homework. That's the intelligent action for you guys. So again, just like practicing what I preach, giving you an intelligent action. Uh, Cause I, I want you guys to get this. I want you to be able to connect with visual people, auditory, kinesthetic, fact finders, and write down another intelligent action, write down K A V and then A and then lowercase C A D auditory digital. You can have it as a check mark when you do a presentation, talks, trainings, your videos, your podcast, whatever it is. So that's that's one intelligent action for you guys as well. There, tell your story, guys. Be authentic. Be open. Give give them things. Give them lots of things, and you'll stand out from others. You're safe. I've got your back. We'll create trust and rapport. As will being authentic, raw, real, vulnerable. Avoiding being perfect. Because if you try to be perfect and you try to get right every time, you'll never do the video. You'll never do the recording. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I want you to do it. And if you look at some of my old YouTube videos on my channel, maybe it'll give you some confidence to do your own videos because they weren't the greatest. They weren't the prettiest videos when I started. However, I did it. So what I want you guys to do is make a list when you leave here. What are, what are the top five or ten ideas you'd love to share with the world? You've been dying to share with the world. You've been too scared to share with the world. And you're maybe a little worried about, well, what will people think about that? The top ideas you'd love to share that make you a little uncomfortable. What would people say? Will everyone agree with me? Will everyone disagree? Will they, everyone like it or not? It's okay if they don't like it. Here's something important I'll leave you with. Embrace the haters. Embrace the haters, it means two things. It means you have a message that's powerful, first of all. You have a powerful message. And it means you're actually getting out there and communicating and not hiding in a cave wishing you were changing the world. Right? Embrace the haters. We all have haters. We're all going to have haters. Not everyone's going to love what I say um, and not everyone's going to love what you say, guys. Embrace the haters. It's okay. Embrace the failure, which is not really failure anyways. It's learnings. Remember, life happens for you. Yeah. Not yeah. And we, we had a lot of our users that really, you know, highlighted that point as well. And and um, so I, I want to say, firstly, I want to say uh, I've really enjoyed being with you, James. And I want to say a big thanks to our audience tonight because people take time off, you know, They've got lots of things to do, busy and, and activities, and, and they take that to join us. So I really, we, we really appreciate that, you know, a big view and, 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 and our, our speakers. And, and, and the second thing is I'd like to say a big thanks to James. You know, James uh, keeps coming back and keeps delivering really fantastic workshops with really quality content. I encourage you to reach out to him. His contact details are in the chat now. Uh, if you need, you can also uh, contact us for, for further contact details with James. Um, I'd also like to let you know, I thank Bruno, a big thank you to Bruno, who really keeps it turning in the, in the background for us. Uh, and just to let you know that, that next week uh, we have as well an exciting uh, workshop uh, on elevating your, your video content with, uh, with uh, the Big View AI Magic Writer. 
Cool. Uh, so we've got uh, Phil Palin and 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 uh, Joab Reisner from our our uh, data scientists coming in to to spend time with you to answer your questions to show you how AI is relevant and pertinent in, in today's today's environment. Um, and really, just uh, it's, it's been a, it's been a really uh, enriching experience for me personally. Uh, and uh, I thank you all. So great, thanks for the time. Right and, on. Uh, right on. And if you guys want to connect, thanks for having me again, Kevin and Bruno. Uh, if you guys want to, if anyone wants to connect, uh, unleashyourpower.com is my website. James at unleashyourpower.com is my email. Uh, you can find me on TikTok, just at James R. Elliot, E L L I O T, one T, or just Unleash Your Power, James Elliot, on YouTube as well. And remember, guys, people buy your why. People don't, don't buy what you do. What will differentiate, what will have you stand out, they buy your why. So share why you do it. Why I do it is because I want to make the changes in the world. I want to empower you guys to have kick-ass lives. That's why I do it. I love helping people succeed. I love helping people win. I love seeing entrepreneurs go out, make a difference. Because through a, a ripple effect, that's how I can make a big, big difference in the world too. Share your why. Constantly share your why. Broadcast your why to the world. Avoid worrying if someone likes it or does not. Share your why. Share why you do it. That is also a way to build authority and credibility because, again, people buy your why. That's far more interesting often than what we do is why we do it. So share your why. Get, be, be passionate of it. Love it. People buy your passion. They'll love your passion versus I sell computers or I sell coaching or I do training or I do whatever. Be passionate about it. People will buy that. That's what will connect with you. Be passionate in your videos. Show you. Show the real you. It's been fun. Thanks. Let me absolutely, do what I love. Absolutely. And thank you very much from the view to, to, to James, to all our, 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 view, uh, our audience viewers and to Bruno in the back end. And uh, we look forward to seeing you back again next week. All the best. Bye thank you guys. Now. Have a great one. New teleprompter create videos you're proud of. Easily trim your video by selecting the words where you want to start and end. Color your presentation with automatic subtitles and highlighting keywords. Add your brand logo. Add music for an emotional touch. Add your contact info on an animated business card on all your videos. Easily replace green screen with an image or a video loop. Stand out with a web page with your logo, your video at the center, and personalized button for visitors to interact. It's one tap to simultaneously upload your videos on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Always know what to say next with the Big View teleprompter.